what's going on, Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator. Today I'm going to show you how to do single word captions in CapCut for PC. I'm not really big on long introductions, so let's get right into it. So the very first thing we need to do is once we get our video and our audio on our timeline, we have to go up to text. We have to go to auto captions and we have to click create and it's going to generate our auto captions for us. All right, once it does that, let's go ahead and stylize our text the way we want it to look. I'm just going to do something basic to save time during this tutorial. So I've stylized my text. Now I have to go up to where it says captions and I actually have to physically word by word separate these because there's no animation that will do this for you. So you need to go to each word and all I'm doing to separate these is I'm clicking inside and I'm going to the end of the word and I'm hitting enter and I'm just doing that after every word. So it's a little bit time consuming. It's certainly not the most efficient system, but it's the only way we could do it in CapCut. All right, now that I've shrinked it down to one word per caption block, now I want to go ahead and style this in an animation that I like for the video I'm doing. So I just go up here to animation and I'm going to show you why I don't recommend using an animation for single word captions in CapCut. Watch this video really quick. Recording. This is just as an example for... See how the text is moving, but it's really not animating in and out. Let's try something else. This is just as an example for the video that I'm... So I don't think these animations are made to be as short as a single word caption really is, especially if you're talking at a relatively quick speed. That being said, let's turn off the animations and I'll show you that it sort of animates itself in a way. Playing. Just wanted to show you how this recording works. Now, the one thing I have found with single word captions in, in CapCut is they're not that accurate to the time code. So I found a lot of times that I'm going to have to adjust these captions to match up accordingly, and that can be really annoying. So while I don't use the auto captions feature for single words in CapCut, I use Premiere for that because it's a better system. This is how you would do it if you wanted to do it this way. I would recommend doing something more like two to three words, and I'll go ahead and show you really quickly what that looks like so that you can get a comparison and then make a decision for yourself. All right, so this is two to three word captions. I already went ahead and separated all of them. I want to show you what this looks like and then we're going to animate these and then I'll show you what that looks like. That way you can get a better idea of what kind of captions you want. Recording. This is just as an example for the video that I'm playing. Just wanted to show you how this recording works. All right, so as you can see, it's a little bit more time in between the captions moving. So now we're going to add an animation to that and I think you'll be a little bit happier with the way it looks simply because it's not crazy. All right, let's try this dance animation. Now, keep in mind, this is a loop, which means it's going to be in and out. If you wanted something where it just came in and nothing happened when it left, you could do just the in or you could do just the out if you only wanted it to animate out. Recording. This is just as an example for the video that I'm playing. Just wanted to show you how this recording works. So as you can see, reading that caption is so much easier with the animation than the one we did single words. So anyway, that's a quick little rundown of how to create single word captions in CapCut. I wish it was a little bit better of a system, but I know they're constantly upgrading it. So maybe in a couple months, we'll see a better single word caption system. All right, thanks a ton for watching this video. If you wanna see more videos just like this, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what other kinds of things you wanna learn in CapCut or Premiere Pro. Thanks a ton for watching this video today. I'll see you in the next video.